Pollution is an issue of concern in the modern world that we live in today. There are many types of pollution, namely air, water and noise. Pollution in our environment will undoubtedly affect our quality of life. Our naturally beautiful world is becoming ugly because it is suffering from the effects of environmental pollution. Pollution can also cause various health problems and other negative effects such as asthma and cardiopulmonary disorders. Solid waste in Malaysia is one of the major problems we are facing. According to a study conducted by University Science Malaysia in 2013, the generation of municipal solid waste in Malaysia has increased more than 91% over the past decade. There are only 2% of municipal waste recycled, 42% incinerated or chemically treated and the rest dumped into landfills. Some materials like plastic and metal may take a thousand years to decompose. In addition, they also emit harmful greenhouse gases such as methane, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide, which will lead to global warming. People often think that rubbish is just trash and they are useless after being used. However, the rubbish that we throw away daily is actually treasure for some people. In this episode, we will be talking about efforts that Malaysians have taken to save the environment. BGBG Initiative is a social enterprise that shares progressive ideas with everyone and focuses on upcycling. Their objective is to create a sustainable living and reuse waste creatively. Really, a fun experience. Yeah, what you I mean, I've learned a lot since coming here. I've been working for about three months, so this is my yeah my fourth one. So I'm, a, I'm just an intern. Yeah, so yeah, I'm learning a lot. Yeah, so from everything from what you call woodworking to metalworking up to like the cash flow and like what you call what we do in events and stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, I really like it. I just uh, uh, my plan was just to be here for four weeks. But after two weeks, I asked if I could stay longer. So now I'm here. I'm here for two months now, and uh, I'm staying till July. So I, I really, it's like, it's uh, it's almost like a hobby for me to work here. <laughs> it feels really good. Challenges I face. Uh, currently, actually, we face a lack of manpower. Yeah, that's the biggest problem now. Because what they call it, like, I mean, we used to actually rely a lot of volunteers and all, but now, I mean, since we really like try to employ our own people, so now, I mean, like, we are facing because, like, in this month, we, are, I mean, we have six events coming up on the 28th, and we actually kind of facing a bit of, I mean, a lack of hands. Yeah, so that's like the biggest problem. Uh, so um, uh, I'm from Europe, so things are different. That that's logic. It's like. Um, yeah, like communication is always a, a, a difficult thing when you're in an other country. Um, and other challenges. Um, they work a bit more hands-on. They, they, they start, they, they, sometimes they start designing, but most of the time they start building with an idea in their head. And I'm not used to it, so sometimes it's a bit difficult, but I really like, I really like working here, so that's good. <laughs> Okay, BGBG initiative, we are a social enterprise for one. Uh, we propone open source design, uh, which means we share our ideas and we collaborate with other people who share their ideas. Um, we do not, the ideas belong to the public domain, so they don't really belong to us. Anything that we make, anybody can copy, anybody can make, it's up to them. Uh, another part is uh, we reduce waste. We use a lot of waste elements, uh, uh, recycle elements in our production processes or in our educational modules. And it's about people working together. So the idea is like open designs, 
reducing waste, work together. That's BGBG initiative in a nutshell. Nice. Yeah. You know that is not the conventional way of doing business. Yeah, we've showed people that the other thing that a lot of people believe in uh, in this whole go green environment and what's not what's happening now. Uh, a lot of people trust that it's good, but a lot of people do not believe that the traditional economy can support these ideas. And uh, the way that I think we've created impact is we've showed that it is possible and we're doing it. And here, here we are, we're okay, you know, we're not a conventional business, we're still surviving, we still pay taxes, uh, we're part of the system, yet uh, it's a different business model. And I think it's many people are uh, inspired through that to go and take up their own causes, whether, whatever it may be, and believe that, you know, things that do good can also be a business. A business is not just about uh, maximizing profits. So that one thing is what has been the focus previously is like, you know, it's all about make money first and then we think about what is it that uh, we want to do. Is that's always secondary. So here we are trying to say like what you want to do can be primary and uh, money can be a consequence of it. Yeah. Waste is actually just a value judgment that us as human beings put upon a material. Uh, no plastic bag considers itself waste. It's us who give it that label post our consumption. So if we can change our paradigm about what it is that we throw away and what it is that we do not utilize, um, we will be able to reduce a lot of waste together in the world. Um, everything has value. It's just whether we see it or not. So if you change our paradigm, you get to see a lot more fun things uh, from everyday objects that did not have value to you before.